from the first commandment. Yes? I just thought it's simple, but I'm not smart. You don't you need... Have to really explain it to me. No, no, look. You don't need to be very... Uh, like have, have complex understanding of the oneness of God. The Christians make it complex by saying three in one. God has always said one. It is a Christian oh I'm not, church. It is I'm a not church. By that. You, I think you are. I you you kept you kept flip flopping between, between what? Jesus is God, Jesus is not God. I never said Jesus wasn't God. Ah, uh, see, but it goes back. Are you saying Jesus is God no, now? Because he, you're gonna, I've always <laughs> said Jesus is Lord. What's the difference? You told me the difference. I, think I didn't tell you the difference between Lord and God. Yeah, you said that it's not the same thing, right? What is the difference? I don't know. You're uh, using you can be the Lord. You can be a Lord, a Lord of the manor. Exactly. Yeah. You can be a Lord in the in the sorry in the court of law. Yes. They yeah. say my Lord to the judge all the time. Yeah. So Lord can just mean master. That's all it means. In Arabic, the term is called Rabb. Yeah, Rabbul Ala. They say um, the, the 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 Lord of the house, for example, like like Lord of the manor. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah, Rabbul Bayt. I don't know. What's the Arabic term? Yeah, Something Rabbul simple? Bayt. Rabbul Bayt? Yeah. yeah Rabbul okay. Bayt. My Arabic isn't so, that bad. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> right, so the one thing I guess, my only one question is. Yeah. Because you believe that Jesus was, was, was good, a good guy, but he said, no one comes to the Father except through me, and I still am hung up on that. Yeah. He said it's for a certain time. Yeah. Everything Jesus said was for his, for the people for whom he came, which was the Bani Israel. Okay, the children of Israel, or the Jews as you would call it. So that was his message. Guys. So even even the first commandment, both Moses and Jesus repeated this. They said, "Here, O Israel." Okay, was were they talking only to Israel? Yes, they were, because their message they're addressing only Israel. You know what is the message in the Quran? Yeah, ayyuhal nas, or yeah, ayyuhal Muslim. It is for the ones. Yeah, yeah, ayyuhal nas means here, O mankind. Not not Arabs, not non-Arabs. But mankind means the message of the Quran is universal, unlike that of Moses and Jesus, who came only for the Lordship of Israel, like Jesus said. Not only all of Israel, but only the ones who are lost from amongst them. And who are these? These are the same people who rejected Jesus as the Messiah. Yeah? yeah. The Muslims accept Jesus as the Messiah. We are not the lost ones. Yeah. So when, when he actually when Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, he acknowledged Jesus as the Messiah. You know what Jesus says, how to identify the true prophets from the false ones? If they tell if, if their stuff happens? If, if they accept Jesus, if they acknowledge him as the Messiah, then he's a true prophet. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu accepted and acknowledged Jesus Christ as the true, true Messiah of God. The Jews rejected him, but the Muslims accepted him. Okay, and that's why I'm telling you, come back to the original religion. The religion of Abraham. Yes, Abraham is their patriarch. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Moses, Jesus, all of them, they pointed to Abraham. What was the religion of Abraham? Yes. Monotheism, Yahweh. Follow. No, there was no Yahweh then. The Yahweh is Hebrew. It came later on. What, what was the re religion of Abraham? By the way, God himself says he never told Abraham by his name. So Yahweh doesn't even come in there. But the religion of, in, in the Quran, Allah says that he's neither Christian nor a Jew, but he's from the Muslim, a monotheist. Muslim means someone who submits his will to the one true God. By that definition, all the prophets, all the way to Adam, and from Adam all the way to Prophet Muhammad the last messenger, all of them were Muslim. By that definition, the broader definition, which means submission so when to the will of one God. When he start, he was always. When, no, no. When did he got, he got yeah. talking about uh, the patriarchy? When so, so, so the term Muslim, like I told you, the broader sense of it. So there's a narrow definition, which and is a broad definition. and a broad definition. So the broad definition is anyone who submits to the true, true God, the one true God, that is a Muslim. He submits his will to the true God, and we know that all the well, prophets. That's a pretty broad. That's a broad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So every prophet, every messenger has submitted their will to the one true God. So by that definition, they're all Muslim. So if the I, narrow if I be definition. God, then I'd already be Muslim, right? Yeah. So if you if you if you believe so in the I'm already Muslim. no no if you believe in the oneness of God, not the Trinity, then yes, you're a Muslim. What if I, what if I believe that? But if you're a Trinitarian, then you are not a Muslim. Not in fact, even Jesus would reject you, because Jesus says the only true God is the Father. In John uh, seventeen three. Reject me? 
John 7 and 3. Yeah, he would reject you. Oh, he came to seek the, he would, he no, would no. seek me out because I was lost. No, no. Jesus, you have to, it's conditional. He would seek the lost, yeah, right? Yeah, it's conditional. The lost sheep should accept him and you're not the lost sheep of Israel. Okay, so the Lordship of Israel, if they acknowledge him as the Messiah and they worship the true God, the God of Jesus, then yes, then they are the ones who are considered to be people who God would accept and acknowledge. But if you're going against Jesus Christ himself by, by believing the church about the Trinity and accepting him as a God or a Lord, someone who's divine, who's not actually divine, he's just a man, even though he had some special powers and abilities which he God granted divine. him. He, he wasn't said he divine. Was divine. No, he never said he was divine. No, he said he was divine. Where? Right. Never. No, he says, I am divine and you are the branch. He doesn't say that? No, he doesn't say that. I think your church been telling you lies. He if says, I am the vine and you are the branch. No, he, says, no he says, I'm the only one. Apart from you, you can do nothing. Yeah. Jesus says that. No, Jesus says, I can of myself do nothing as I hear, I obey. Okay? You can, you can Google it, no problem. He never said he's divine ever. No, the vine. Oh, the vine. Okay. No, the Vine. Yeah. I am the vine, and you are the branch, and apart from me, you could do nothing. I was not going to be divine. I said divine. Yeah, I was talking about divine. I know what you were talking about. Why did you get the one? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Unless you want some wine now. <laughs> I didn't say anything about wine. Okay. What does he mean by no good? Okay. By apart from me, you can do I nothing. Does he believe Jesus to be God? Jesus. Uh, he's flip-flopping still. I'm not flip-flopping. <laughs> Jesus is Lord. I believe Jesus is God. You believe Jesus That's what I believe. Oh, so you're, you are flip-flopping. Earlier you said he was not God. I said according to you he's not God. Okay, so you do believe in the Trinity then? I told you I do. Okay, so you believe the church, not Jesus then? According to you, yes. Not according to me, according to Jesus, John 7 and 3. No, Look Jesus it up. Says, Jesus said, I believe John, when John says, the word was God and the word was with God. Yeah, the word is a command, not Jesus. Uh, that's what you say. Well, you, how can you, okay, you couldn't well, interpret. You did, no, no, wait, you just said that. Where does it say that the word is, means command? You said that, I didn't say that. It doesn't say it's Jesus either. In the beginning was the command? Yes, why not? No, because the command hasn't always existed. The command is always with no, God no, no, because no, no, it's no, no, his no, no. command. The command hasn't always existed, God has, right? Command is not a person. And you, you're <laughs> using command, not me. Yeah, I know, but it makes sense. Because it never makes sense if Jesus is God and then they say he's with God. So what is, what is God? How can you be with God if you're already God? What is John saying? You don't believe what John says. No, I'm, I'm interpreting John not the way you, not the Trinitarian way, which your church taught you, but the way that we, I as a Muslim have been taught. Okay, but and how do, what does that And mean? it makes more sense from the okay. Islamic perspective than for you to say Jesus is God, but then he's with God. How can you, you have, have two, two gods? gods. Yeah, just like you, you can have, have a yolk, you can have a, a yolk and a shell. And yeah, but the yolk is not an egg. You have Jesus, who you believe is God, and then he's with God. So yeah. You have Do you have an egg? You have a yolk? You have a shell? And you have the, oh, I don't know. You know why that analogy is actually modalism? Which is actually a heresy in Christianity? Because the yolk by itself is not the egg. Do you agree? The yolk by itself is not the egg. The, egg. Yeah, the yeah. shell by itself is not the egg. Oh, so if you, when you break the egg and yeah, you a, and a, you separate the yolk, are you going to call the no, yolk it's egg? No. A, it's, a, it, yeah, it's a metaphor. All, all illustrations have an end point. You can't. That's why it to it. The, the analogy. Like the family ones, like we're all equal, but we're yeah, not. I know, all equal. but but your analogy points to a heresy, not to God. It's called it's called modalism, where each individual person has their own role, according to modalism. That means sometimes the father is acting as as the son. Sometimes the same entity is acting as the Holy Spirit. But it, they believe that's one person. Yeah. Just like the way you believe is one egg. Yeah. So your example is actually a heretical belief, not the Trinity. An example can't be a, a, a heresy. So don't bring a bad example then. Bad eggs. <laughs> but an example isn't a heresy. No, no, this example leads to a heresy. Oh, it can lead to a heresy. I don't know, I'm just using an example. That example actually points to a heresy. Because modalism is where they are, they are, where God acts as different modes. Yeah. Yeah, how can the word, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God. If the word is God, then how can the word be with God? Unless you don't know what God is. Maybe John was really confused. I don't know. John didn't write John, you know that. That is actually the words of Philo of Alexandria. File of Alexandria. No, so yeah, you need to know these things. No, no, no. What I don't understand is when you can't. <laughs> How can you go against? You know, you're going on all these ambiguous, um, confusing yeah, statements. Yeah. When I'm giving you an explicit statement from John 7 and 3, 
where, he say, where Jesus himself says that this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Yeah, and he so also Je says no one comes to the Father except through me. It's got nothing to do with God. That's called how you go through to God. Not God. Okay, so the identity of God is who? According so wait, to Jesus, wait, 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 wait. the Father. So why did he say no one goes to the Father except through me? We've been through this already. I know you I know you hung up with that. But it doesn't it's got it nothing doesn't it doesn't matter. It do, wait, wait, no no it goes nothing to do with the identity of God. It's not the destination, it's the way to God. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but, but, uh, it's got, you, I just told him many times yes, that know, during the time of Jesus, is. he was the way. During the time of Moses, Moses was the way. Was the way. You don't need to. You don't need to have Moses explicitly saying those words because anyone who dis disobeyed Moses at that time, what happened to them? The plague was visited on them. Yes, and that's how you know. That's how you know the true, the true way that Moses led. Wait, 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 wait. We agree on something. I want to talk about what we agree on. What do we agree on? You said Jesus was the destination, not the... Not no, the he was the way, not the destination. Yeah. Oh, he's the way. Not I, the destination. I agree. So we agree. Jesus yeah. is the way. Yeah. So to get that... But I never I never disagree with that. No, I think you do. No, if you if you watch the video, so, I've repeatedly no, said that. Jesus is the way to God. At that time, yes. No, where? You keep on throwing the disclaimer. Do you not understand why you Moses understand. is the way? Why J Abraham was the way? Moses why Jesus was, was the way? I've already explained that. You no, don't no, need no, to say you it. You keep saying Moses said he was the way. He okay, the way. so... Let me ask you. Jesus said he's the okay, way. Let me ask you this. Wait, answer my question. I did already, but you were not listening. Now, did Jesus say he was the way? Yes, he was during his time. But you keep on saying Moses was the way. Okay. Moses didn't say he was during the way. During the time of Moses, no, don't say who was the way? God was always the way. No, God is the destination. You keep flip flopping. I'm not flip flopping. You are. Okay, once again. <laughs> Jesus is the way. During the time of Moses, no, no, who no, was the way? the way? Jesus is he didn't want to listen to logic. No, he just says, he so says no one comes to the Father. At his time, I agree, yeah. Okay, so you I never disagreed at this time, he was the way. No, you keep on saying at this time. Of course, at this time. Can God have a God? I want to ask you, can God yes. have a God? God can't have a God. No. Did Jesus have a God? Did Jesus have He worshiped God the Father. No, but did he have a God? He yes, was God. No, I'm no he wasn't God. He, he never said God. he was God. He is God. That's my answer. There's a verse in the Bible that tells you whether he had a God or not. Do you know? Yeah. Well, he had a God? Yeah. yeah he is God. Jesus he himself said, Jesus I said, I said we God. prayed to God the Father. Yeah. Jesus ever yeah, said but he, he, did, he did not ask you if Jesus had a God. He asked you, was Jesus a God? A God, according yes, to you. Yes. So if Jesus was a God, can this God have a God? Can this God have a God? No. But he did. He is. According to but he did have a God. Okay, yes. So you're going against your own principle again. Jesus said whether he has a God or not. Did you know whether Jesus ever said, I have a God or I don't have a God? No, he did. He just said, we have, he came to show to point people to God. No, did Jesus himself? Not to himself. Yeah, Jesus said that. He came to point people to God. Which no, God? No, no, Did he himself say, I have a God? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know that. Know. Uh, can we quote to you where Jesus himself yeah. said, I have a God? It wouldn't change me anything for me. So you would not even listen to Jesus? So if he himself no, because what I'm saying is that when Jesus came... What you're saying is, what you're saying is you're going based on the church, not on Jesus. No, I'm telling you what I'm... Every time Jesus... I'm only going on Every time Jesus is, Jesus actually says something, you go against it. <laughs> no, I don't. Just like when he says, I am the... When he says, I am the... stuck on that. Oh, I'm stuck on what Jesus said. You're stuck on something, Jesus. No, said. I'm stuck. I'm actually. But wait, I just said Jesus said this, and he said, "Oh no," but he doesn't really mean it that way. Okay, first and foremost, you need to calm down. All right, let's have a calm discussion. All right, because you you seem agitated. I don't know why. When Jesus, when we are I, talking I'm about, because I'm a simple man, well, and, and you're, you're saying things in your way. Do you do I look like a complex man? No, you don't. I'm a simple man as well. But you, but you alhamdulillah. Very are. You're very. You're too smart for me, and so I. No, you don't need to say that. Uh, we are all alhamdulillah. We all have the. Uh, we we're all have brains. We're not all equal. It's all how it's how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all humble like a family, but we're yes. not all equal. I know the I know the analogy. Uh, you learned something. Yeah, I learned good, it. good. I learned Alhamdulillah. We're and we're all equal, but you're kind of dumb. But you, no, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. You, you, you are still the head of the family. Ah, I believe that. Doesn't matter what you think of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so if don't tell my wife. Oh, <laughs> uh, if she watches YouTube. Yeah. I don't let her watch TV. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the other way around. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying is that I'm focusing on the identity of God. Yeah. And you're talking about the way to God. Okay. Two different things. Okay, so okay. let's talk about let's just talk about the way to God then. Okay, so let's talk. If you want to talk about that, yeah, let's talk but about my, that. my my answer is gonna be the same. Yeah. Jesus said that, but it was only for a time. Yes. But for his time, yeah. I don't accept that yeah. answer. And you don't accept my answer. That's fine. That's fine. fine. You're you're entitled to your opinion? Yeah. And I'm entitled okay, to mine. Yeah. Now let's focus on the identity, shall we? we? Already worked. Yeah, I think that Jesus is God. That he could come and he could still, he came to show what, what we should live like and how we should live. 
and how to how to worship. That's why I believe he came. What's, what about the identity of God? The, who is God? Who is God? Yeah. Who's God? Yeah, who's yeah God? I don't know. I don't, I you don't know? Like you don't know? God, Even after Jesus told you, you don't know? But when you say who's God, wait, in what sense? But Jesus, Jesus. Who is God? When I ask you who's God? So when Jesus... Who's God? The God of Jesus. Okay, great. Then, Do you agree with that? Sure. Good, so we are, we are fine then. I already said we are there. Okay, so if, if, if you believe in the God of Jesus, yeah. then G it disqualifies Jesus as God. Because okay. there can only be one God. Sure. Do you agree? No, I don't agree. See what I mean? Yeah. He rejects Jesus, doesn't matter what. Because you have, you, you have been brainwashed by the church to such an extent that you would, you would reject you even the testimony of Jesus. How can you unbrainwash me? No, How can I? You God need to God listen God. to Jesus, no, not the church. Which church you got, brain, got brainwashed in? Ask him. <laughs> I don't go to his church. What I'm saying is that when you have a clear, explicit statement from Jesus Christ about the identity of the only true God, and yet you reject it, then to be honest with you... I didn't reject anything Jesus said. No, no. When Jesus says, and he points to the Father as the only true God, and Jesus Christ is the Christ, when he tells you clearly that who the only true God is... What does he mean when he says, when you see me, you've seen the Father? What does he mean by that? Yeah, what he means by that is that they have the same purpose. That if you have seen me, I've been with you all this time. I've been teaching you about God all the time. And yet you're questioning me to show us the Father. Sorry, to show us God. Right. Because he said the exact same thing, you know. So what does he mean? But he says he yeah, yeah, I'll me. tell you. When you, you know when, uh, when, when um, sorry, when he says, I and the Father are one. Yeah. Do you remember that passage? Yeah. Yes. He also says in John 17, 22. What does he mean by that? Yeah, it means we have the same purpose. And this Why is. Why did he just say that then? Because he spoke in parables. But, but when I say, but when he when actually, he, that's a good statement, you know. No, but wait, wait, when, when Jesus when, always spoke in parables, according to the Bible, yes. Whereas Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi always spoke directly. So you don't need to, you know, beat around the bush. You need, you got the answer and clearly. Again, right and a simple man like you or a simple man like me will understand a direct message know, but right now very you're, clearly. You're just you're playing favorites again when you said that, that they're all equal. Now I'm talking about how the Bible know, portrays no, him. You just said that Jesus always spoke in parables, which are not good. Based on your Bible. Not oh, in the Quran, oh. okay? So the reason the Bible always portrays... I can't, I can't, it's hard to, here's it real quick though. Yeah, yeah. You have to admit, it's hard to me, like if, if the Bible is wishy-washy and it doesn't, and it's not accurate, then 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 why are you using it to, to stump me on Because that's all you believe in. That's not all I believe in. Okay, have you read the Quran? I have this Quran. No, have you read it? No. I, I just okay. got, so, I'm not that fast so, of a So reader. if I'm quoting the Quran, which I did many times when I showed you about Jesus being blessed, Mary being blessed, Okay, yeah. Jesus being the Messiah. Yeah, I'm he, taking your words. Yeah, so right? many of those things actually they coincide with what's in the Bible. Okay, that's so true. we use the Quran as our criteria okay. to identify which passages in the Bible are true. Okay, so but, but that's what I'm saying. So I can tell you something, but it doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter what I say to you about the Bible because you can just say, yeah, but that part's not. No, but you reject the Bible anyway. I reject the Bible. Yes. Oh, okay, I don't. Because when Jesus tells you who the only true God is, you reject it, and you you believe in the Trinity, you believe in the Church. When, the, when no one in the Bible ever worshipped a triune God, none of them, no prophet, no messenger, no Jesus, no his, none of his apostles. Paul didn't worship Jesus? Paul did not worship Jesus, no. Oh, not as God, as, at least not as Almighty God. Oh. Yes, there were different ways. You know the term God itself? In the Bible, Jesus tells the Jewish people that you are gods. And he says, he's pointing to Psalm 82, 6, where God called them children of the Most High. Yeah. Yeah, they are gods and children of the Most High, both of them. Right. So they were not only called children of God, but they also called God. But what does the term God mean? Again, the term God, depending on the context of the Bible, right. it can be false God, yeah. because the term Elohim is also used right. for false gods. Right. The term Elohim is used for the true God. Right. The term Elohim is used for humans right. and for angels as well. Okay. So this term can be used and misinterpreted as well. I agree with that. And, and that's the reason when Jesus says, that the only true God is the Father. He not only uses the term God, but he also uses the term only true God. And then he points to the Father only. One person or three persons? How many, how many persons is the Father? What, is it, what does he mean when, when he says that the Spirit's coming after him? That I'm leaving and I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm leaving you guys with the He says the parakletos. Parakletos means the, um, uh, the what, what's the term parakletos normally they, they mean? They use the, uh, the vice gerent or the the ambassador who's going to come. Yeah, the spirit. Yes. So yeah. the, the paracletos, which he's talking about, he says, until I go, he will not come. Right. Yes. So, is so that, if he that, was, 
if he was is that part of God or if, no? if he that? was the Holy Spirit what is that? What is that thing? I don't, I, I'm asking what it is I, I, I personally believe the paraclete is the next messenger prophet he was talking about the next one to come after him Mom. and that was prophet Muhammad peace be upon him because he says I have many things to say to you you can yeah. obey them now yeah. but the comfort yeah. of truth should come and it should guide you to all truth so the paracletos or the comforter uh, which is correctly uh, the, the, the translation so Muhammad is the comforter? yes and also Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he came with... Jesus says, I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot bear them. He, the Comforter, when he comes, he'll lead you into all truth. Now you tell me, what is the truth that the Holy Spirit brought to you? Because many Christians think the Paraclete is the Holy Spirit. What is it that the Holy Spirit brought to you which Jesus did not already bring? Anything new? What do you mean, anything new? Because he says, I have many things. Jesus said, I have many things to tell you now, but you cannot bear them. When he, the, the Paracletos, comes, he will lead you into all truth. Yeah. So what is it that the Holy Spirit brought to you, which Jesus did not bring? Under, Christians fruit? can't answer this question. They don't know. I mean, the, the answer is... The Bible says the fruit of the Spirit is peace, love, patience, kindness. That's what did it Jesus not bring any of that? That's not, but Jesus says, I have many things to say. That means something other than what he already preached. Right? Okay, he, pro he, he did preach peace and kindness and all these things which he just mentioned. So what is it that he did not preach? Muhammad. No, there are things that... I don't know. There are things that... I thought I was going to answer. There are things that... No, I said with the Holy Spirit brought no, to you. Did also, the Holy Spirit bring Prophet Muhammad to you? I know then you're a Muslim. He's asking, he's asking why did you believe the Prophet who was the Holy yeah, yeah. Ghost? Yeah. So what has the Holy Ghost brought that Jesus has not brought? He's asking. Exactly. Oh. Jesus, when Jesus left, yeah, the Spirit came and people were filled with the Spirit, people weren't... I'm asking what is the new thing that the Holy Spirit got, brought to you? What did He teach you? Something new other than what teach, uh, Jesus oh, already taught you. The Spirit gives us the, the, the way to understand, so that, that apart from the Holy Spirit, that we can understand. I'm asking for something new which Jesus preached. I don't Sorry, which Jesus did not preach that the Holy Spirit brought to you. The answer is nothing. That's the answer. That's the reason. What? Continuity. Yeah. Or continuity. continuity. Yeah. So what, when when Jesus says someone like him, okay, that's what he's trying to say. He's trying to say so he's talking about Muhammad. Yes, he's talking about the next messenger yeah, to come. By his name. He, he doesn't need to. He speaks in parables. Remember, in your Bible. I know in my Bible. And and by the way, I personally do not think that the Bible has been preserved. Okay. Well, that's fine. And the reason I say that is because you don't even have the early manuscripts of the Bible. Okay, most of the Bible is written after the 4th century. Some say after the 9th century, depending on which scholar you ask. Was that? But, but the Old Testament is the same thing. That, all the Old Testament is the same thing. That no, it's not. Old Testament is... Well, the, the Old Testament, in terms of reliability, is even worse than the New Testament. Okay, but... but that's because the different... That's where your religion because the from. gap... No, who told you that? You just said Abraham, the father, all those all that stuff. Well, that's that the comes from the Quran, not from the Old Testament. But the Quran came way oh, later. So what? How, but how can you have it? Wait, wait. What does time factor got to do when God gives you the message directly? I guess. Hey, exactly. Okay, it's got nothing that, to do. That doesn't work with the Bible. Why not? No, that's what. No, you're saying it doesn't work with the Bible. No, no. I'm saying the, the Bible. The is infallible. I'm, later. I'm saying the Bible scholars themselves say that the manuscripts which came much later, yes, we cannot. Yet, I, we cannot go back to what the actual Abraham words of Jesus. Are. Was that? But the stuff that you have about Abraham came later than that in the Quran. No, no. Yeah, okay, here's the difference. When Jesus came with the message of God, okay, he did not write it down in the New Testament. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So there was no New Testament around. I know that. The New Testament was written much later. Correct. Do you agree? I agree. Okay, now compare this with the Quran. When the Quran was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, sallam, the first thing he said to his scribes is to write it down. Yeah, but how can and you then he memorized. Sorry, how can the first thing is he memorized it and then scribes. Because if God gives you the information okay, well, directly, okay, well, how do you think Moses knew about Adam after so many thousands of years? Yeah. By, by God. But it was written down. Yeah. But you that's just what, said that part of the Bible doesn't. It was, no, I'm saying during the time of Jesus, nobody wrote it down. But, but the Bible, I'm talking about the Bible as a whole. You're talking about the New Testament. Okay, so the Bible as a whole, first and foremost, where are the writings of Moses? Or even within 100 years of his time. Where are the writings of Abraham? We don't need writings of Abraham. We have got the Quran. What is, do you not realize what I'm saying here? No, I, I'm don't, I don't. Okay. I don't get it. Okay. How do you know about Abraham? Let's, 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 how do you know about let's backtrack Abraham? one. Wait, how do you know Sorry, about let's, Abraham? Sorry, let's take Quran, a few steps right? back. Yes. So for us... Where was that writing? Wait, wait. From? You need to understand that when the message comes to the prophet and a messenger, the message is directly revealed to him. Okay? Through an angel, obviously. Now, 
this message is memorized by the messenger yeah. and then it's conveyed to other people yeah, within down. within 100 years of the Pro prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi we still have manuscripts available to this day do you have any manuscripts within the 100 years of of jesus or moses no you don't well, within a hundred years? Yes, yes you do. no, you don't. Yes, you do. Where? What manuscripts? Paul was, Paul was writing something fifty years after. Where are the manuscripts? Where, where's your manuscript? I don't have it. When, like in a museum. I don't have know. you researched it? Yes. Okay. What's the name of the manuscript? Like the Dead Sea Scrolls. Oh, that's of the Old Testament or the New Testament? There's no. There's parts of the New Testament in there. No. 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 The Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls are at least. 11 to 1200 years after Moses. So you got a gap yeah. of more than a millennia. Not 100 years. No, 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 no. More no. than a thousand years. Parts of the New Testament in there. No, it's the Old Testament only. No, they were nice. They were yes, you should go and research it, my friend. Research it. Research okay? So, yeah, you can Google it, no problem. Okay? The New Testament, the New Testament. The, if it's true, will you at least admit that you're wrong? No, you won't. It'll go back. When I'm saying this, I believe that I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm going to Google it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Yeah. So the Old Testament. But I can tell you this: that Paul was writing 50 years. Paul's writings are 50 years from his from his time of his life. Paul ever meet? And now that's that's less than 100 years of Jesus's life. How is that and evidence when you don't have the manuscripts? Wait, you said there's no manuscripts. Yeah. If you don't have evidence, then it's no evidence. I can't just go based on your claim that he wrote 50 years after. Even 50 but years, that's half. But Half a century, your, you know? But I'm going off your claim. No, but I have, I have evidence of manuscripts. If you want, I can show it to you. The physical evidence is still there. We have two modes of uh, uh, transmission of the Quran. One is the actual manuscripts, and the other is the oral transmission. You know the Muslims, they memorize the Quran from cover to cover? Are you aware of that? Yeah. Yes? We got at least 15 to 17 million Muslims any time of the year uh it's really impressive yeah and no other no other bible sorry no other uh scriptures which consider to be holy are, cons are actually memorized like that unlike the quran which itself is a miracle actually because even the non-arabs they memorize the quran you're right it stops at psalms they have songs thank you very much you're very smart. okay yeah, yeah. so i don't make up things I, I make sure i research it before i proclaim it because that's the way you should you're do really it. Smart. Yeah, it's not about smart. It's getting the evidence for what you're claiming. That's all I'm asking. When somebody makes a claim, provide the evidence. Okay. And by the way, the Old Testament, like I said, there's a gap of a millennia. How can you believe any of that? Because it's even a bigger gap from when the prophet wrote it down. But you're just saying it's divine, so it's a okay. get out of jail free card. So the gap. Don't, don't use don't use archaeology as a as a. You can't use archaeology as a. As a, as evidence? a scapegoat for me. It's not a scapegoat, it's evidence. Yeah, but, but it's evidence, evidence it's evidence against the claims you make. Well what's the evidence that, that, that Muhammad was right when he wrote what he wrote down? Because we don't have one manuscript, we have got several. And they can all be in cor uh, corroborated. But, but, but wait, he's writing something that happened more than a millennium he, by, by before the way, he existed. By the way, by the way, he did not write it down. The scribes wrote okay, it down. But, and but, we have we but he's are, writing something down more than a millennia than when it happened, correct? No, I'm talking about I'm talking about the Dead Sea Scrolls. No, I'm talking about what is written about Abraham in the Quran. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that. The direct revelation came. The direct revelation about what happened way before, right? Yeah. What's wrong okay. with that? Well, that it, if Moses, say, the manuscripts are millennia. Okay. It was did Moses? A millennium years after. Listen. But, but this is did did after. Moses live in the time of Adam? What's that? Did Moses live no. in the time? How many thousands so of I'm years? Not using, I'm not using that as a scapegoat. You are. It's not a scapegoat. It's called evidence. Did, was, was, was the prophet Muhammad around the time of Adam? If the message came directly from God? No, was he around the time well, of Adam? I'm answering you if you, re, if you relax. Was he around the time relax, of Adam? Relax, I'll answer. No, you relax. No, you're the one who's worked up, oh. not me. Oh, Jesus. Okay, step so step if Moses, if Mo, it's the same, the same analogy I'm giving you with regards to Moses, like huh? that of Moses, the huh? message came to him directly from God. I agree. He didn't need to live in the time of Adam. Yeah, I agree. So when the message comes to you directly yeah. from God, then God knows history. Okay, okay. And whatever God yeah, sees is that. true. Similarly, if the message came directly to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, why does time matter? Yeah, when God knows, matter. exactly, that's okay. what I'm telling you. So, so let's, let's agree on that. Right, but no, but I say if, if the people were divine and writing direct revelation from God in the, the New Testament, then it doesn't matter. No, but you're saying they were writing. Where are these writings? 
We have the writings for the Quran. Wait, do you have the writings? writings the do you have writings? Testament? No, not after, not not until hundreds of years after Jesus. Hundreds of years. No, what's 150 years is only a fragment. P52. So, so no one wrote anything down? No, they wrote, but maybe it's lost. I don't know. That's up to you guys to to deal so with. The, it's your it's your problem, not when mine. They, when, they, when they wrote it down, no, it's not a problem. But it is a problem if you don't have evidence. What do you mean? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it matters. When you, you make a. Do you know how many manuscripts there are? That, do you know how many uh, manuscripts there are that we know uh, about Caesar Augustus? How many? How many? No. Do, do you think he existed? Does it matter to me? What? I don't know. Do you believe he existed? But does it matter whether he exists for me or not? It doesn't matter to me because my well, you're, 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 because you're because my no no because you're talking about yeah. manuscripts equals. If we were taking a history exam, it would matter. But my what I'm dealing here with is the afterlife. My afterlife doesn't depend whether Julius Caesar lived or not. My afterlife doesn't depend if... if, if it depends if, on your manuscripts? No, it doesn't. Oh, so you don't believe in manuscripts? No, in, no. in your books, then? I didn't say you don't believe in So you don't believe in your books? And you're talking circular now. It doesn't I'm not sense. talking circular. No. When, you, when you're going to say that your books are not reliable... No, no. Then, I'm saying that my books are not reliable. I never said okay, that. Okay, so on what basis are they reliable? You don't have the manuscripts. You don't have the oral tradition. Second? Because they're a divine revelation from God. Yeah, but that was to Jesus. No, no. And Jesus did not write down anything. We've been through this already. Muhammad didn't write down anything. He, he had his scribes write it down. Oh, Jesus had scribes. Where is he? Name me one scribe. Why do I need evidence? In the time of Jesus, there was no New Testament. Uh, so what scribes are you talking about? Of course there was no New Testament. What he scribes? New Testament. No, the New Testament was written much later. Well, who wrote Jesus' words? <laughs> Why is this guy arguing for the sake of argument? You know, you know, you haven't researched this. You, look how many steps he went back. At least six. Yeah, but he, uh, <laughs> Come forward. Oh, because I told you I had to go an hour ago. Yeah, I know, but you yeah. were still there an hour. Yeah. Okay, look, no, look. It's weird. it's weird I got this far because all we've been doing is going in circles. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are going in circles up there, maybe. I, know, but, I always told you I'm not smart. Hey, thank you for your time. No problem. What's your name, brother? Thank you. My name is Fulton. Fulton, and I'm, I'm Hashim. Hey, you took the time. Yeah. By the way, the read the Quran, and next time we have a discussion on the Quran, how about that? I have a lot of reading to but do. Never, never One chapter at a time. Never you have a larger print? I'm old. Get it glasses, man. <laughs> you look good. These ones have even worse. No, no sunglasses. It's the blind leaving Proper. the blind. <laughs> All right, thank you. Take care. All right, Jazakallah khair, brothers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Don't forget to subscribe to Dawa Weiss.